Hi, I am Heidi Weiss and this is Katie. She's going to be helping me today with a demonstration of some basic Pilates principles. Specifically in this video we're going to be working on rolling. Um, this is the only video we'll do any rolling exercises in because I think at home a lot of people might not have a surface that's comfortable to roll on. You're welcome to try it on carpet. Um, but if you don't have a comfortable surface this will be the only video with rolling in it. So um, as always if you do not, if you're not comfortable doing any of these exercises, please leave them out. If they cause any pain, definitely leave them out. And it's always good to check with your healthcare provider before starting any movement program. So Katie, please lay down. We're gonna start with uh, the heels coming together, not entirely with the soles of the feet, but just the heels. Yeah, opening the knees so that we always wanna have the knees pretty much in line with about where your second toe is. And then you'll, have your hands either on the crest of your pelvis in the front or your arms can be down by your sides. So we reviewed in, or we talked about in the first video and we will review here that a neutral pelvis is where if you make a triangle with your hands and place it on your pelvis, your fingertips will be in an equal plane, the same plane as your thumbs. So if you lift your head, Katie, and look at your pelvis, you should be looking at a, a flat triangle um, that's parallel with the floor. So if Katie were to arch her back, her thumbs would be higher than her fingertips and she would have a space underneath her lower back. And if she were to tuck too much, her yeah, pubic bone would come higher and her fingertips would come higher than her thumbs. So we want to stay in a place on most exercises. This isn't going to be true all the way through, but when doing stabilization work in Pilates, we want to stay in a place where you're in neutral pelvis. Um, so from this neutral pelvis, and it's easier to feel with your hands on your pelvis, that's why I cued her to, to optionally leave the hands there. So from that place, go ahead and straighten your legs, and when they extend all the way, rotate them from the top of the thigh to a parallel position, meaning the feet are just in line with each other. And then bend your knees, drag them back in, so the knees will stay again in line with the feet, right, right at parallel, open the knees, good, and then press out again to straight. And from there, you'll bring your toes up toward the ceiling and bend the knees, open again, and straighten the legs. And then we'll reverse. So we're gonna keep that rotation out to the sides of the toes, bend the knees, dragging the heels in, go back to parallel and straighten. So this is just a way, go ahead and continue there, Katie, yeah. This is just a way of warming the body up um, and stabilizing the, the pelvis using the lower abdominal muscles while moving the legs. So from here, we're gonna go back to a review of the half rollback. So you can bend your knees just about halfway, Katie. Bring your arms up toward the ceiling. So this is actually a more advanced way of getting up to seated. If this doesn't feel possible for you, you can always roll to the side and then just sit up. But I'm gonna have Katie bring her arms just a little bit further back behind her and Think of trying to relax the shoulders down her back as she reaches the arms back. And then the arms will, and watch your feet out even a little bit more, okay? Yeah, and then her arms will come up above her chest, and as if someone's pulling her fingertips up toward the ceiling, she's gonna roll forward, good, and then extend the arms. So I'm gonna give you a ball to hold out front, Katie, just to orient yourself. So you'll have the ball always in, about in line with your sternum and your chest, and then just tuck your tail. So now we're no longer going to be in a neutral pelvis. The pubic bone will be rolling back toward the head. And then just use your exhale and curl back up and then sit up nice and tall. So again, inhale and relax the shoulders and you'll roll your tail under, coming back about halfway to the mat. Pause there and use your exhale to come back up. So you'll feel where that hard place is for you. It's gonna be a little different for everyone based on proportions of your torso and leg length. But go ahead and exhale and come back up and do just one more. Um, think of really growing tall. Yeah, and just sort of letting your shoulders relax from the back of the head growing tall. But um, just try and go to wherever that hard place is. So wherever that is for you is fine. So exhale and roll forward. This time straighten your legs, reach your arms forward, continue reaching them as you roll back to the mat. So, this time she's gonna lay her entire spine out on the mat and then once she's down there, she can bend the knees again because having bent knees will help her to get back up. So the arms will go behind and then bring that ball right in front of your chest and use your exhale to curl forward. You can always, yeah, straighten the legs more if you need to and straighten the legs once you get to the top and then round back. So instead of reaching the shoulders back first, think of reaching the lower back back first. So do that one more time. 
So think of keeping the ball right where it is, if you could imagine that it's against a wall that you could measure, and then just round the tail under. Good, so that creates less rounding in the thoracic spine where we all tend to want to round our, our backs. So bend your knees one more time, reach your arms back, and then the arms will come over your chest and start exhaling as you come forward. You can straighten your legs, good, and reach forward. So this is sort of the level two that I mentioned that I would be um, talking about. So if you want to go on to level three and go all the way down with straight legs, you can. It's going to be a little bit harder to articulate the spine in both directions, coming up and going down with the legs all the way straight, but go ahead and come back behind your head, Katie, and, and do this one with straight legs. So, so you want to still think of bringing the lower back toward the mat and really um, articulating through that lumbar spine and rounding there. Yeah, good. Flex your feet. Take one more inhale, reaching your arms forward, shoulders back. Let your head come down. And then, good, slowly roll back down from the abdominal muscles. That's what's leading the way as she comes all the way down to the mat, which is quite a lot of work. So I'll take the ball, and you can bend um, both of your knees and just place your feet back flat on the mat. And from here, we're going to just take the one leg and straighten it out from the knees, so your leg will be lifted, yeah, as if you are holding something important between your knees. And I want you to think of hugging that center line as strongly as you can with your inner thigh muscles, but as if there's a wrapping action happening here, because in Pilates we work a lot of external rotation, meaning um, rotating out from center, because those external rotators are what help to stabilize the pelvis, um, and that's really important for safety and injury prevention. So. From here, we're going to just keep, keep that feeling of hugging the center line and external rotation and then let your leg lower. You could go all the way down to the mat and tap it if you want, and then you'll go back up and you can go higher than where you started, all the way to vertical. And again, inhale, lower your leg, and then you'll exhale, lift it up. Good. One more time like this in parallel, so that means her toes are pointing up toward the ceiling. And then we'll do three in turn out. So now she's going to have the inner side of her knee facing up and you can again inhale to lower down. So this variation is particularly good for people who have knee injuries or need to strengthen the knee or stabilize the knees because perhaps of sports involvement or um, just weakness around the knee. This helps strengthen the those muscles that are important for stabilizing. So from here you can bend that right knee and allow your left leg to straighten again like you've got something important between your knees. Good. Um, so bring it down just a little bit. Yeah. And think of reaching your leg really strongly that way while at the same time pulling from your core muscles back toward the mat. So there's always this two directional stretch happening in Pilates. So yeah, again, inhale to lower the leg and then exhale to lift it up. Nice. So if you feel, oh, go ahead and keep going. You're doing great here. Some people might get a lot of um, hip engagement doing this exercise in the front of the hip of the leg that's moving. If you feel that, try and imagine that your leg is pressing down into something. So uh, now, now you can rotate out now, Katie. Yeah. And using the inner part of the thigh, you'll lift the leg up. But again, if you feel hip engagement, you can really press down into my hand as strongly as you want to hopefully activate the back side of the leg and feel that connection to the low belly more. One more time. Inhaling to float the leg up and exhaling, bring it down even with your other knee and then you can bend that knee and rest. So just take a hug of your knees into your chest. We're going to come up to a seated position by just rocking up. So another option for getting up to a seated position is to just roll to the side and then press up onto your hands and then sit forward. Um, or you can rock yourself up to sitting with the hands behind the thighs. And from there, we'll go right into the next exercise, rocking up. Keep your heels as close to you as possible. And um, let's do it first with the hands behind the thighs, Katie, like you just were. So your elbows will be wide. Pick your feet up and see if you can just balance with as round back as possible. So we say in Pilates that we want the back to be rounded like a letter C, a capital letter C. So think of lifting your abdominals back towards your spine to create that. And then from there, you'll roll back um, just to about the tips of the shoulder blades. You definitely don't want to roll onto your neck on this exercise, but taking an inhale to go back and an exhale to go up. And then if you want more challenge, you can bring the hands to the shins, hug the knees deeper, even bring your head down toward your knees, and then again, roll back and up. So this is called rolling like a ball. Uh, the one thing, one of the things you want to watch for is 
not allowing any tension to creep into your shoulders, so that's why we cue the elbows to be wide to the sides. Um, and then you can try for more challenge even hovering your hands off of your shins if you want, which is a lot harder to get up. Or my favorite, putting the elbows on the knees, um, which is a lot harder to get up doing. You can try it if you want. <laughs> And then from there, good job, <laughs> from there, um, just let your hands come back behind the thighs in this next rolling exercise. The last rolling exercise we'll do is called open leg rocker. So we'll start with the feet on the mat um, just to learn the movement. So just extend one leg out to the side and then you can bend that knee and extend your other leg out to the side. And then extend the first leg and then the second leg keeping the first leg lifted. So you can walk your hands up higher. I recommend having them either above or below the knee, but not right at the knee joints. So you're not yanking on your knees. But from there, again, you'll roll back and up. And with these rolling exercises, they're actually harder the smaller the roll that you're doing. So don't feel like you have to make this a huge movement. That was pretty small. And Katie can probably attest to the fact that it's quite challenging to get back up when you have a small <laughs> roll like that. So. Try balancing on your last one when you get to the top. And you can bend your knees on any of these. If you need to just soften your knees, that's fine. But see if you can balance on your last one at the top, reach your arms forward and just hold that position, bringing the legs together. And then you can bend your knees and rest. So that's it for our second video. And we will start again with some props on the next video.